Hey, welcome back. Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. Thank you so much for being with me. I really appreciate you. Uh, so a short time ago, I was doing some um, camping at a campground, a local campground here, just testing out some stuff on my RV. I wanted to do it at a campground. And all of a sudden, it started to rain like really, really hard, like the mo one of the most torrential rains I've ever seen, ever experienced in my life, especially camping out. Um, luckily, my rig here that I'm sitting in right now, my Class B Pleasure Weight XLTS, had no problem. There, um, since I've been very careful about water and leakage and checking things out and sealing, um, we had no problem at all. But unfortunately, the woman next to me, she must have been pretty new at RVing. I think she just got her RV. Um, it was a used one. And as it's raining, her rig is filling up with water. I mean, really filling up and it's raining harder and harder and it's filling up um, so fast. It's doubling every hour. That's how fast it's doubling every hour. And after 10 hours, she told me the water reached the ceiling. It was totally full after 10 hours. So my question to you is at what point, how many hours was it half full? At how many hours was it half full? full. Okay, it's a riddle. I know it's made up, but it's to share something with you that's so important. And um, write your answer in the comment section. And the first person to get the correct answer will be recognized by me, the RV dummy. So when you buy an RV, especially a used one, um, I want you to check. And even if you have one now, and you haven't checked this for a while, I want you to check and make sure it is not having any water problems at all. Because as I said, water leaking in could be one of the most difficult problems to diagnose and to, and to repair. It's really tough. There are so many seams and joints and areas where water can leak in through gaskets and things like that, even through lights and air conditioners and anything on the, on the roof. It's, it's, it can be a really big problem. And I remember the first RV I got, um, it's, it was also a class B. It was a leisure travel and it was used and we loved it, but I didn't really understand how to check for leaks before I bought this thing. And when I bought it, I didn't even look at it myself. Other than online, I had a friend of mine, Steve, if you're watching, thank you very much, who went to pick it up for me and drive it back to Maryland. And what I realized, as much as I love this, is every time it rained, there was water leaking in various areas. But if it was parked at a certain angle um, and it rained hard, water would be gushing into my kitchen and into the bed. And it was, it was a really, really bad situation and very, very frustrating to try to fix. So if you are buying an RV that is used, I want you to make sure you try your best to check out every area and give it the hose test and try to park it at different angles and spray it at high pressure and just see if water is leaking in anywhere. Also, I want you to check um, all around to make sure there's no signs of water leakage. Sometimes it can hide itself. And so if you see any stains on the ceiling, on the walls or anywhere, that's a sign of water leakage. And I will tell you, it's going to be very difficult to correct. And it's also going to do damage. Sometimes it'll do damage inside a wall or a ceiling before you can even find it or figure it out. So please really be aware of water damage, of leaks. It's a, it can be a very serious situation. Um, two things I highly recommend that I always carry with me whenever I'm on the road, whenever I'm in my rig driving anywhere, whether it's a short trip or a long trip, I always carry these two things. 3M Super Tough Tape. This is just a, basically a tape that you can use temporarily or sometimes even semi-permanently to tape over areas from the outside or even the inside that might be leaking in. The good thing about it is it's totally water resistant or waterproof. I'm not sure what it says, but water resistant, water and UV resistant. So um, I've actually got some on an outside window right now that when Yoko and I were driving on a trip a, a month or so ago, we were experiencing some really torrential rains and not a lot was coming in, but a little bit. And I somehow was able to rig this up on the outside, you can hardly see it. It's clear, it looks really good, and it totally prevented any more water from coming in. For a heavier duty job, I would recommend this Gorilla Waterproof uh, Patch and Seal Tape. It's really good stuff, and it, it is more than just a tape. It has this gooey stuff that kind of conforms and molds itself into the area. So again, if you're out driving somewhere, if you're out camping and you start to spring a leak somewhere, this stuff comes into play, and it will really, really work. It won't 
uh, temporary or semi-permanent or permanent basis. It's really, really good stuff. I'm going to put links um, in the show notes to both of these so you could easily just pick these up on Amazon. I would not go anywhere without the two of these. And also, I'm going to put a link for... I don't have it in front of me here, but I'm going to put a link for some really good caulk that you can use, obviously, on the outside of your rig to um, patch things up and uh, make sure water is not coming in through through seams and other areas where things come together. Um, you're not going to want that to happen, so I'll put a link down there. The point I'm making from this is just be super, super careful, especially if you're buying a rig from somebody else. Leaks, water coming in is one of the most difficult things to figure out, diagnose. It can really ruin your RV. And by the way, um, if you smell anything weird in a rig that you're considering, if you smell like a mildewy type smell, um, that is a red flag for something that's going on as far as leaks. So again, be super, super careful. Take care, stay dry. And remember, if you have the answer to that little riddle, put it in the comment section below. The first person to get it right will be recognized right here. I'll talk to you soon. Till next time, I'm Dr. Dave, the RV Dummy.